So here we go. Our first uh, match of the eight gamer, our number nine qualifier and number 24 caller. <laughs> qualifier, wow. Kevin Holdsworth and Daryl Bradley. Let's go. Cal Calgary versus Edmonton. Weird. Weird. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, have always, it any other we, were, way. we were always the first ones to play the match, right? We had the schedule of the two days or the one day we were going to do. So I'm glad that Kevin and I can kick things off and see yep. see all the things that we need to do to improve the show as we go along, right? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, we'll be the guinea pigs for sure. <laughs> so I hope uh, we kind of went over the rules a little bit to start. Kevin, I know uh, Mr. Miller relayed it for you. Um <laughs> Mark Miller is going to help commentate this match with me. Um, the Wiseman twins have another life. Who would have thought? But um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so the really the only rules it's total pinfall three game match. You just there's no really pace of play issues because obviously you don't have to do lane courtesies or any of that good stuff. We just ask that if you finish one game, you wait for your opponent to finish the same game and move on to the next game. Sounds, Sounds good. good. It's going to be fun, Perfect. boy. Good luck, so, gentlemen. Uh, I know, Daryl, you threw a few practice leading up to this. Kevin, did you get any practice time leading up into this? Oh, yeah. Threw a little bit, so enough for me. <laughs> Remember, I'm at Bonnie Dune here, right? So does so that give me an advantage with the 17 inches? I was, I was saying uh, to Carrie before we started here is that um, every now and then you look at the look at the set, I'm like, that doesn't look right. But, oh, yeah, right. It's 17, so it doesn't matter. That's uh, right. And I guess my lane doesn't completely reset, so we'll be we'll be calling them to go and reset. He's like, "Do you want to move?" I'm like, "No, I've practiced on this lane three times on purpose." So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess like because qualifying was so long ago, do you guys feel that that has any bearing on the on this match at all, or if it is pretty much just like a brand new season? I think it's a brand new season. It was so long ago. Yeah. We were talking, Mark and I were talking about it, it you know, nine months ago. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. yeah, it has been, right? But it's also fun to, you know, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting right. and waiting to go. So, I mean, whether you're mid season form or you're beginning season form, it's, uh, we got the tournament now. And it's, it's nice to see a lot of people are scheduled too, right? So, right. we're yes. the first one of a whole bunch of them coming up. So, it's going to start to gain a lot of traction here right away. So, yeah. Yeah, people sure. are excited. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> Perfect. Well, without further ado, guys, you're more than welcome to start your match, and uh, good luck. Sounds good. Have a good one, Kevin. You too, Brad. Good luck, guys. All righty. So, any early yeah. favorites here, Mr. Miller? I know no. you got a, a local boy <laughs> in here. Um, well, I think they're both... It's not mid-season. They've taken the summer off. Like Kevin said, it's been nine months, so I uh, could see a slow start. Um, but I don't know. I think they're going to turn it up games two and three. But if you can get going out of the gate, both these guys, they're experienced and veteran. So yeah. um, Kevin's just going to do some warm-ups before he gets started. And then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah honestly i think uh i think game two is going to be a big one and and i think uh you want to pull away in game two and try to get it started as soon as possible in game one but i'm not expecting anything over 300 in game one no so. no for sure like you said it might be a little bit slow start or they may come out hot i know these guys have been practicing daryl with the early strike um so, so for the people watching the score machines might be a little blurry here and there we're held to reception and internet across across Alberta, so hopefully ours holds out here. Oh, oh chop. Kevin gets the head pin kickback chop off. <laughs> and oh. Daryl was talking about 17s at Bonnie Dune, but we all know Paradise's <laughs> pinfall is pretty nice. Paradise does tend to kick him back every now and then, so. And Kevin's got good roll on the ball to do it. And spare for Kevin. It'd be interesting to see if they can get on a run, eh? Because they're not really, they're kind of going at their own pace. They're not dictated by their opponent. It's something really different, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It is, 
It is is definitely different. You you're almost bullying yourself more so than your opponent till you get to see where they're at <coughs> after like the first game, like how far am I behind or something like that, right? Right. And these guys these guys have access to see the other guy whenever they want, right? They like they could check in on their score. Yes, exactly. So um, the program we're using, they're able to look at their competition. <laughs> Just like we're watching it right now and see how the other player is doing. Yeah, it'd be uh, be interesting. Just like, would you would you want to see what your opponent's doing, or would you rather just play your ten frames and get it over with, and then and then look right? Does it yeah, uh, is I there guess... some sort of mentality behind it? No. Well, I think if you're playing really well, like you're you're scoring well, you probably don't want to watch your opponent. But if you're struggling, you maybe want to check it out to see if you're close, if you can fix something really quick to catch up. Or it's all a mindset. I always liked watching my opponent play. I never never really shied away from it. But um, I know there's a lot of players out there that think that you don't need you don't need to watch. You just play your own game and you play the way you need to, right? Yeah, it's a lot easier though when you're not hearing the clash of the strike of your opponent, right? If you're trying not to, it's uh, it's it's very easy to just if you want to do your own thing, you can do your own thing. Yeah, exactly. There isn't the the fist pumps and runouts doesn't it'll do maybe for you it'll do something, but it doesn't do anything to set off your opponent. Yeah, exactly. Just just comes down to pure pure skill, right? Cool. I'm actually, I'm actually really interested to see who who comes out of this on top. Yeah, it's a In, little bit little bit different format than I guess everybody's kind of used to this playing somebody from a completely different house, like and could be time zones apart, right? Like we have a few players that are going to be playing Northern Ontario and um, Quebec, Ottawa area, right? So that's that's gonna. I think that adds a little bit to it. It's going to be cool. It's really cool. Yeah, sure. This one's Calgary and Edmonton, but yeah, you could play anybody from across Canada, right? You had how many qualifiers? 24? 24, yeah. That's awesome. That's really cool. And then the top eight had a bye? Correct. Yeah. Cool. So unfortunate for Kevin to to come in ninth spot. <laughs> yeah, ju just missed the bye. Just missed the bye. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing the talent from across Canada play again. It's been so long. Yeah. Oh, Kevin with a <laughs> string pull. <laughs> Kevin, Let's Kevin see. just rifled the head pin up and over the the right corner and uh, kicked off the wall. Got the string pull. Yeah. Um, they both got off to good starts. Uh, yeah, Kevin, really good start. Kevin's a little bit ahead, a little bit ahead by frames, but he's got. Three three marks in a row, and Daryl's got three out of four marks. So they're they're both playing really well. Yeah. So we could probably take this time. You, the autumn opens coming up in a month month and a bit. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, really good actually. Um, entries are flooding in. Uh, I think last I counted, we have eighty two individuals registered, not including re entries that they might possibly do. And uh, entries are coming in every day. That's awesome. Um, we're just hoping, we're just hoping that uh, we get to get to do this right and safe in a safe manner, obviously, with COVID protocols. If the if uh, AHS calls for it, right? Yes. So, um, if there are obstacles, we're going to do everything in our power to um, have it a go, whether it's separating people to just a certain group or a certain time, ensuring that the um, people crossing is limited. You know what I mean? Keeping it all um, within the guidelines. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I hope the situation gets better. Obviously, like you said, you're seeing a little bit more of a count in Alberta, but hopefully that slows down and it doesn't affect um, the sports world as much and businesses as much this time around but obviously uh with the wcbt and the autumn open we'll definitely work to whatever ne meets the needs of the business paradise lanes and hopefully the bowlers community, right? oh absolutely the bowlers are ecstatic they're so excited I, I i get the messages private messages all the time and they just they just 
we just want to release, right? We want to get back at what we know. We want that normal to return. Um, unfortunately, it's not as happening as fast as we want to, but the demand is there. The, the people want to go bowling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so Kevin's a little, a little ahead of Daryl now. Oh, chop off spare. So looks like Kevin's got 185 and a spare in frame seven. And Daryl just threw a strike, so. Strike in six. He's a little bit behind, but. Yeah, not much. Seven sticks, right? Yeah, it's close. If they, yeah. Yeah, it, it's kind of, it's going to be weird to see pace of play change, right? Like, Kevin's a little bit ahead of Daryl now. Daryl's taking his time, especially after that head pin. I don't know if Daryl's pacing himself because Kevin is usually the slower of the players. He takes his time out on the lane, takes his time to get his uh, his mind right before he gets on the lane. So Daryl's usually a quicker player. So it's kind of neat to see their pace of play already change, right? Knowing that what's happening with the other player in a completely yep. different city. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> exactly. But no, we, uh, the autumn, we're, we're hoping to, to do the Thursday doubles again. We're two teams away from filling that. Um, our Baker is two teams away from filling. Um, our entries, our Friday morning shift has 39 people registered. Mm. And we can only hold 48. So yeah, it could, uh, we were fortunate in 2019 to go from 150 entries to 200, and we're hoping to to keep that momentum going forward. Yeah, that's uh, it's got to be exciting seeing those numbers already. Yeah, oh, that's a big shot a, from Daryl. Huge triple for Daryl. That's oh, a four triple. bagger. Nice. Four bagger going into ten. So is that a? Like two hard. two oh eight. Is that in? Is that counting the scores as it's going, or is that not including the four? Uh, I believe that is counting the score up in up to okay. seven. It doesn't count eight and nine in yet. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, big big punch for Daryl. Yeah, that's a big one. They're close. Depends. Yeah, what really Kevin close. Ten. Yeah. No 300s off the bat, but uh, pretty solid games. Just like maybe a couple mental mistakes. Daryl with the two head pins and the chop miss. Yeah, and then uh, Kevin. Kevin's a little pushy right now. A couple chop, a couple yeah. chop offs. M um, missed his chance on that chop spare in nine. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, same. A little goal. outside. So it's gonna be close after one. Two seventy nine start. Two seventy nine for Daryl. Yeah. Kevin's got the spare, so if Kevin can strike here, he'll get two seventy. But we'll get the strike here. But we'll call it after. And they're playing three games today. Yep. And a head pin to finish. Head pin seven for two sixty two. 262. 17 pin difference. All right, we'll bring them back in here. Uh, so 279 to 262. Kevin's just getting his stuff. Well, Daryl, that's a good start. Yeah, I pulled her together there. Obviously, sped things up after the fifth rate, right? and I ran the four in a row. I kind of just kept going in a rhythm, so I didn't want to stop that. I don't know if I pushed in 10 or if it was just it was my time for a head pin there. I'm not sure, but, yeah, it would have been nice to, to keep her going. Had had something brewing, so. That was fun, Daryl. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I was happy, happy with the 280 pulled out of it, so, yeah. It's a good start. Both of us respectable, right, Kev? Yeah, yeah. Just hacking along there, so. Yeah. Work out the bugs. Only a, only a seventeen, only a seventeen pin difference. That's yeah. nothing, 
Nothing to shake a stick at. That's good. But our age difference, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel much older. So, yeah, if you're saying that I'm older, then yes, my body's, you know. You're in great shape, Gab, right? Like, you're just yeah, a physical really. specimen. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah. yeah so um any any adjustments that you guys made in those that first game there no just kind of plugging away no just no rhythm yet yeah and that's what i did I, yeah. I ran four in a row there and just didn't really come back and sit down and take a breath just sort of kept on rolling and a bit of the game so, plan at the beginning, if I can do that, and just keep keep going, right? So, yeah. so uh, just a quick question: Me and Miller were wondering, is uh, the pace of play different? You guys, kind of thinking about that, was any of that going through your head when you're when you're playing that match? I don't think so. For me. It's a little different. One lane, you know, yeah. you could get caught up going fast, or you know, it's hard to sometimes judge your pace, but. Right. Which I find. Hmm. And then I the other question we had. Yeah. The the other question we had is did you have you did you ever at all look at your opponent's score while you were bowling that game? I, I kinda did. I peeked over just just I looked at yeah. okay. it. It's hard to see what yeah, his same score as me. Was. I started, I, 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 yeah, same as me. Okay. I just sort of looked, and you could see sort of ish, -ish what frame ish he was in, and obviously I, I think he had the double there in four or five or something. And I kind of had the thought, did he run five six, or six whatever, right? But sort of glanced over, but nothing, nothing too. I was more worried about what I was doing, to be honest with you. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I, I think that'll become more of an issue in game three. Hopefully, if the scores are close, you'll be watching, needing to know yep. what you got to throw, right? Right. Yep. Totally. All right. Well, good luck for the rest, guys. Let's Thank go. Good luck, boys. All right. So, so good scores. Not not awful scores. Nothing, nothing that is going to hurt you for three games, right? Nobody shot themselves in the foot that game. No, nope, that is for sure. So now, now I think you're going to see somebody get on a run. I think uh, maybe the the butterflies a little bit is, has gone down, right? Because they are playing for good money, right? They're, uh, I don't know what the prize pool is, but. Yeah, it, it's good. Uh, I didn't have that handy. I wish I would have now, but yeah, um, they are playing obviously for a pay jump. So um, both these guys are going to receive some money for making the cut, but obviously making it the one next level will increase that payout and Right. All that good stuff, right? Do you remember? I can't remember. Do you remember? Refresh my memory, Carrie, how much mm -hmm. it costs to go in? But, like, what What was the prize money to go in? Yeah. So it was, a, oh man, you're going to catch me here. I believe, <laughs> it, I believe it was $100 to play. Okay. But 40 of it went to the proprietors, right? And then okay. 60 went to the prize pool. Okay. And how many entries did we gain? We had 229 entries. Well, 60 times, well, you could do the math. That's, uh, I'm not going to do the math, but. Yeah, let, let's not embarrass ourselves here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's Monday. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Spare for Kevin to start, strike for Daryl. Another strike for Daryl. So what do you think of this setup? It seems like it's it's working fine. We can read the scores. We haven't had too many internet blips. No, it's been pretty good. We're only as good as the technology we're using, right? Um, we uh, we had a tablet earlier that wasn't working properly, but um, I like it. I personally like it. It's different for sure. Yeah. Um, uh, it's just really interesting not seeing your opponent or or just going at your own pace. I think it's really, really interesting. I think those guys who maybe get a little in their own head of when their opponent's doing well or not doing well, mm -hmm. um, 
they could take that factor right out of it. It's like going on, it's like going on the golf course, playing 18 holes, but instead of playing with the guy, right, you're playing completely different places and you don't have to watch them sink the birdie putt or, or anything like that. Right. You could just focus on your game. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But I like it. I really do like it. I tried. I'm not going to lie. I tried out. I didn't make it. Unfortunately, I didn't make top 24, but um, I was excited. Oh, Kevin cherries the three pin, but it comes back off the uh, back for the, uh, the <laughs> for piece. the spare there. Yeah, <laughs> that's two kickbacks now this game. And the chop off head pin in one and then cherries the three pin and then gets a kick there. Like uh, I said, it's the- paradise, right? Every now and then it kicks. We don't doesn't have we don't have the the 17 inch or the new bottoms. It's just 18 inch and and the old bottoms. But pinfall, we pride ourselves on good maintenance and and hopefully the scores follow with it. Yeah, and you always gotta get lucky once in a while too while you're playing uh, decent <coughs> big matches like this, right? It, not everybody's gonna be perfect. You gotta get a few breaks here and there, and a kickback is part of the game. That's what. It's, uh, it's yep. very exciting, right? Yep. Looks like Daryl's gone for a water break. Looks like it. <clears throat> They're making pretty good time. We said keeping it within an hour, right? And they got that. They got that first game done in about fifteen minutes. Yeah. So yep. good They're timing. Doing really well. He's trying just to add a little, uh, little blurb here so people can see the the running scores. He said technology is only as good as uh, the people using it too. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so uh, Kevin obviously three three black marks in a row, and then the dreaded head pin in the fourth frame. Daryl's got a little bit of advantage with the three marks in a row, but it's early in this in this game as well. Daryl looks really good. He looks really confident. Yeah, he, and um... that's when it shows. Up. <laughs> and then he pulls the bump. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was uh, kind of mentioning earlier today that he actually has a little bit of a hamstring strain going on, so. Oh, okay. That must be all that practice to get ready for this match, right? Like we said, right? They're, they're not mid-season form, right? Uh, no. Got to build those calluses back up. There's a lot of lot of leg muscle use in bowling, right? A lot of flexibility involved. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Hmm. Well, hopefully Daryl can battle through that and stick with it. And Kevin seems like he's found his strike stroke again so yeah oh Daryl cleans it up this is a big shot for Kevin if he wants to squeeze back some pins <coughs> oh little thin corner <laughs> city freeze there oh there you yeah. go oh. <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> uh. Funny tidbit about uh, about Kevin. I was talking to a bowler who um, went to the KG Bowl in Saskatoon, their big cast tournament in the early 90s. And Kevin was, um, he said he'll never forget. He'll, he, he said, uh, I'm not exactly quoting him, but who is this guy wearing shorts to a bowling tournament? <laughs> so he was he was one of the first people to to wear bo- shorts to a bowling tournament. It just wasn't a thing back in the late eighties, early nineties. He wore pants, right? So, yeah. and now it's and now it's everywhere. You look at Daryl's shorts, um, Weber shorts. A lot of people, a lot of people enjoy wearing shorts. And it's crazy to think, thirty years ago, nobody wore shorts. Yeah, exactly. It, it's a sign of the times, right? It's um, bowling, kind of. I guess back in the day, you kind of looked at like golf. It was something everybody did, but you made sure you you dressed up for it. It was like a night out, right? And now yeah. it's gone the way of almost a little bit more recreation. Guys, 
they still dress nice, but the shorts are more common, stuff like that. It yeah. gets hot in those bowling alleys. Like, I don't blame really I don't warm. blame guys and girls for wearing skorts, skirts, shorts, right, to to stay cool and play well, right? Absolutely. And just, you see these guys get so low when they're bending and throwing. It's just, for me personally, I, I, I like shorts too, just to have that freedom, right? You're, you're a little bit more constricted. Uh, Bowling and bowling and pants, or even jeans, or whatever, right? So yeah, for sure. So I think yeah. you're gonna you're gonna kind of see the guys now. They're gonna take a little bit of time. They're both struggled the last couple frames here. It yeah. Seems like Daryl, like I said, Daryl looks like he might have a little hamstring pull there in the in the fifth frame and the fourth frame. So maybe he's taking a little extra time here. And same with Kevin, right? He's he's a little bit ahead. He probably doesn't need to rush so much. So he might take a little more time yeah. here for himself. He's frustrated. He's just throwing the ball a little flat. He's not getting under it like he normally does. Yeah. Oh. Another head like, Yeah. Daryl's laboring that's, a little bit. Yeah. And that's the other thing. Once you start throwing three balls a frame, next thing you know, it, you're doing a workout. It's cardio. Your, your, your heartbeat's going 110 beats a beats a minute right yeah. <laughs> and then then you throw another head pin or another miss and you're going oh crap i gotta throw three more balls <laughs> yeah. and you're sweating <laughs> <laughs> but i know in in calgary today it's really humid um rainstorm going on outside right now it's warm down here for sure yeah yeah it rained all day uh up in this edmonton region so the humidity levels are definitely high Little internet slow down there. Good old country okay. Wi Fi or country internet. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> oh, no big shot for Kevin. Strike an eight. Oh, skinny for the corner. Skinny. Skinny, skinny. Pushed it. Strange, I thought. Um, I thought they'd go on a little bit of a run here in game two, but just uh, neither, well, Daryl with his hamstring issue and Kevin maybe with a back or knee or elbow issue, I don't know. <laughs> maybe a head issue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, like you said, they're not in mid-season form, right? So it, that little bit of pressure and all of a sudden you start plugging a little bit and then the head gets in the way and all that all that good stuff. It's kind of neat to see. It's almost like you're right in the chair behind them, right? Mo yeah. Most of these tournaments, you're you're out in the back of the concourse and you're kind of score watching. You're not really seeing how the players are doing themselves. Now you're yeah. right behind them. You're literally in the pit with them. So to see how their mannerisms are and stuff like that, it, I think it adds a little bit there as well. Yeah, it's very cool. Very cool. So what is what is Daryl and Daryl is in going into eight? Eight and yeah. Kevin's going into twenty five and six, yeah. Okay. And Kevin had hundred forty seven and six. Yeah. Another chop off for Kevin. Eight. And that's a corner for Daryl? Yeah. Yeah, right corner. Working hard. Yeah. Both of them. Oh, he missed the corner. <laughs> Both these guys where they're hard on their sleeves, eh? They're getting oh. the animations are are good. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely know when they're uh they're not happy with their game, that's for sure. Yeah, there's some guys out there and you'll see them in other matches. You don't know if they're on five in a row or one in a row or because they have the same thing. But both these guys uh yeah, they get they get amped, they get the, the body English going, right? Yeah. So Kevin's got two twenty six with a spare. Um, he throws a strike here, two forty one. And then he's gotta wait for Daryl. Daryl's gonna ice him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and strike for two forty one. Two 
241. Nice. So that'll bring Kevin to uh, 503. Daryl with the strike. Strange game for Kevin. Didn't really look like he was doing anything, and he still manages to pull a 241 out of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know if there was a double in that game. I don't believe there was. Yeah. Grinding it out, right? Yeah, every, making spares. Every shot matters, yeah. You uh, tell Daryl like that one. Daryl's got the double working now. Is he going into 10 now, or...? Yeah, he is... That was first ball in 10. That was first ball in 10? Yeah. It's a big shot. Especially with the strike in nine, big difference going strike spare maybe instead of spare strike, right? You get that extra that extra ball count, whatever, whatever this next shot is in nine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, and he points shot. it. Well, you know what fixes a bad hammy? A turkey. <laughs> Lots of strikes. <laughs> Lots of strikes. Yeah. Lots of strikes. <laughs> it'll, it'll fix any bowling injury. I've seen it too many times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. So he's got one last shot, and then we'll bring them back in for a last talk before the big final game. What is the... Uh, what does Daryl have there? Can you see? He has 211, so if I think he throws a strike, 256 max. Okay, so he's at 241 with a ball. So he's yeah. got Kevin's score with a ball here. And another strike. Good finish for Daryl. Great finish. Yeah, 256. So 535 to 503. 32 pins. All right, let's, let's bring those guys in here. <laughs> Kevin, he's coming. Well, Daryl, that was a big finish. Yeah, big finish. yeah, that one. That was kind of a grinding middle of the game. Do you see my hold in the uh, hamstring? Just, I want to make sure I have my excuses in the lined up, right? So, can yeah. you can get that on camera? Oh, or something? trust yeah. me, I I let Miller know about it. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, no. I, I thought you pulled just, your bum. It was it was just super tight for two frames and I just was like, I gotta put this out of my mind, man, and throw throw the shot. So through through the exactly the shot I wanted to shoot in the last four frames, right? Four balls whereas you know, right side I mean the twelfth was on the left, but really the the first first few were exactly what I want to do. If I could say to assume my wife there that if I could repeat those over and over and over, I'd make a million bucks, man. So. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Yeah, even um, Miller was commenting. He said, "Oh, you really liked that one. You fist pumped it the first one in ten. That was a that was a big yeah. one." Well, yeah, it's kind of funny. It. Like the other day when I came in through, I actually filmed myself. Uh, bowling and one time I did it with the camera behind me here and then another time I did it up to the right over by uh, the other ball return right and then I could just sort of see the release point honestly it happens so fast and I'm not technical enough to really see exactly what I'm doing but as I that was when I told you Carrie I threw you know the big game and uh, I could just see it and just that feeling of that release point so yeah, I don't know where, exactly. I, don't know where I was going with that but practicing with the camera on is my point of advice there people right <laughs> Um, it's not like we're trying to keep Kevin out of this conversation. He just isn't in the chat. So, oh, here, here he comes. <laughs> maybe he didn't, maybe he didn't want to talk to us. Yeah, you're back. Yeah, sorry, guys. You're good. <laughs> no worries, Kevin. Um, obviously, Kevin, you didn't throw a double in that game, but yet you still scratch out a 241. You really battled that one. Yeah, that was tough. It's I can't be doing that. It tires you out. Yeah. And <laughs> Daryl throws too many strikes. Well, <laughs> Bonnie's in advantage, but I, I need everything I can get. <laughs> so it's only 32 pins. Obviously, that's one one mark. Um, yeah. The match is still super tight. Um, Daryl got his his excuse out of the way. Kevin, any excuses? Do you got anything going on? Hamstring? No. Pull? No. No, I'm just kind of flat out there. So unless <laughs> I change things, uh, 
I, th I think we're, I might have something, so we'll see. Perfect. You get, and gonna... still no pace required here to do your thing, right? You know? That's right. Oh, no. Yeah. No, no, that's good. We're at, we're at good time, so we got lots yeah. of time for this last yeah, game. Yeah, agreed. Totally. Yeah, you got 23 minutes to wrap this match up, so <laughs> figure it out how you're going to get there. Yeah, exactly. A game, a, a game of chicken for frame 10, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. And after the match, we still want to bring both of you guys in. I know you might be sore or you might be a little pissy or you might be oh, no. fist no, pumping fun. all the way home. I don't know how it works, but uh, we'll talk I'll to you guys after. <laughs> all right. Good luck, guys. Good luck, Darryl, right. last game. Thanks. Yeah, you too, pal. Talking a bit. Good luck, guys. All righty. So that was a big game, finish. Yeah, that yeah. was huge. That was absolutely huge. Like, um, I'm not sure if Daryl was aware of the situation he needed. He needed that bang out or what he needed to stay up in the match, but uh, he figured it out. Yeah. I'm telling Kevin what he's down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 32, 32. Yeah, 32. <laughs> um, yeah, and, uh, it, and uh, I wonder if, if Daryl knew... What Kevin scored finish was because he Kevin finished and he was going into nine ten and maybe maybe he thought you could catch him maybe he just went out and threw a four bagger who knows right yeah yeah I'm not quite sure could have been he... a could have been a good, good question but yeah I think you're gonna see I don't know I've always been a proponent of go if I can get ahead and start throwing strikes I'm gonna keep throwing strikes yeah yeah if you get a good pace just keep keep rolling right. Yeah, and I think you're going to see Daryl maybe try that. If he can just keep running them, he's just going to keep going up there. And, and Kevin might actually do the complete opposite and just give himself uh, an opportunity to finish finish in 10 knowing the score. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But he's yeah, got to make up those. Want, <laughs> we'll definitely want to know the number, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, fist pump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Daryl with the early hiccup, right? Not too sure. Yeah, three pin, three pin. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's what we we're talking about, right? He was trying to get on a run. Maybe the hamstring went again, but yeah, um, obviously wasn't wasn't good. He throws that back up, that outside inside swing, right? So came across his body and ripped it ripped it into the left three pin. Yeah, a little bit of overcorrection there. Yeah. Well, he, was that a? Did he go? Yeah. Side oh, yeah. you don't want. Yeah. Yeah, you think you maybe overthrow it, right? So you tell yourself just to give it a little bit less, and next thing you know, you're putting it into the into the other side of the head. Yeah, which is all right too, right? You don't lose a lot of count that way because he could have thrown it just as easily down the three pin hole again, right? And then you yeah. lose big count. Yeah. Kevin just got another head pin chop off. Oh, paradise. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Kevin can find a way to spare this. Um, he'll make up some pins, right? He'll probably get yep. back 15 of those uh, of those 32. So he's going to keep grinding. Oh, oh, and he cherries it. Got the break with the head pin then and cherried the pin. Yeah. So they say, hey, it ain't a break until you, until you make the spare. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <coughs> The extra count doesn't hurt, though. <laughs> no, never does. <laughs> <laughs> See what Daryl can do here. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Nice shot, yeah. Five you in the see, pit. Yeah, Kevin's got a little bit extra going on right now. Yeah. He, uh, and he's trying to to run him now, eh? You see him get right back up. Yeah. Trying to keep that rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh yeah. And okay, both of them with the a double. double. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Got some good scores going on now. Got some good match. counts going. Yeah. And Kevin, you see, it's just right there, ready to go again, right? Yeah. Except the Lane doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> Might have to wait for the tango. Oh. oh, there we go. I almost had to send my pin chaser. <laughs> Which is you? Which is me. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're Paradise Lane is closed on Monday, so Kevin's got the whole facility to himself. The so things oh, we yeah. do for Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. We like Kevin. <laughs> It's not like not like you had something going on, anyways, right? <laughs> no, honestly, no. <laughs> you got it on the nose. Big shot for Kevin. Yeah, big triple. Big shot with the left jab. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is this is probably where Kevin wants wants to be next to his opponent, right? Yeah, oh, show, yeah. Show the emotion, show the energy, right? Yeah, yeah, but he's. Uh... He just wants to get on the run. Kind of taking advantage of the format, right? Yeah. Great shot. Speaking though. of uh, tangles, this might be... Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Kevin's got the triple going into five, or going into six. So does Daryl. They're within pins of each other for this match. And once again, Kevin has to climb out of that. 32 pin hole. These are big shots for them. Oh, you're back. Look at that. That didn't yeah, take any time at all. It fixed before I got there. Oh, oh terrible yeah. big shot. <laughs> With the fist, fist pump. pumps everywhere. <laughs> Love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to blink first, right? Exactly. See what Kevin does. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know they gotta be watching the scores now, right? They both oh, check yeah. checking. For yeah. sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah, once you start getting into that forty five points a frame, right? Scores start to get get up there real quick. We've had yeah. now they've got forty five twice, ninety points in in two frames each. Oh big. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Let's go, yeah. Kevin. Big shot. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, oh okay. just a little wide. All right. Advantage Daryl. Yeah. Kevin's gotta make sure to get the spare. Keep yeah. it keep it within a couple. Yeah, he's gonna need a little bit of help. Gotta make sure of the spare though. Can't Yeah. That, that's the thing about five pin bowling too, right? Like even though he has this little bit of mistake, if he can cover it, it still has yeah. to close out this match. There's still three big frames left. Absolutely. That's a big spare. Yeah. yeah, it's not completely gone. Obviously, that hurts a little bit, but... Yeah. It's in Daryl's control now. Uh, Daryl can throw a, throw a couple more, then um, might just shut out Kevin, right? He's got to keep him going, though. See what he does here. Yeah. And he pitches pitch. as well. Yeah. Weird, eh? And maybe you see your opponent pitch, and maybe you let up, or yeah, yeah, just... maybe a little bit of defense, right? You don't want to have a big split there. Yeah, it it's tough. You always got to be aggressive. You can't throw a strike if you don't hit the middle. But there's always a little bit of defense in the mind. You don't want to be yeah. the guy that opens up, right? No, 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 no. absolutely. All right, it looks like they're going at the same time. Let's see what they do. Daryl pitches. Kevin strikes. And Kevin throws the wow. big one. I think we got a ball game again. I, it's very close. 
Kevin's got yeah, two twenty eight and seven on the strike. Now. It's huge, right? That's what we were talking about, right? You got to be sure that's fair. Yeah. But it's not over for Daryl. No, Daryl's got two forty one going into nine ten. Two forty one, and Kevin's got two forty three, but he's on the strike, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so close match. Here we go. Two frames left. Kevin's on got a slight advantage on the mark here. So he's essentially 30 pins down, but he's counting his next two balls. Of course, Kevin... Kevin's lane has a tangle here, so Mark's going to go fix that while Daryl throws his first ball in nine. Just slightly outside. So this is a big shot for Kevin. Mm. All right. Whew. So Daryl has missed the middle to the right, his first ball in nine. So advantage to Kevin now. Uh, if Kevin can throw this, it's <coughs> no, and it's oh. on the nose. All right. Kevin's going to need every stick. Yeah. So if Daryl can spare this, it would really, really put Kevin in the hole. Daryl yeah. wouldn't need much in 10. No. Ooh, it's open. <laughs> <laughs> All the emotions, all of That's the emotions. A, yeah, all of the emotions. That's a big 10 points for Kevin now yeah. that uh, Daryl's Darryl missed uh, the spare. Yeah. So Daryl would be 253 if he cleans it up 256. And Kevin wiggles the deuce. I might have to remember that too, but. Yeah. So 256 going into 10 for Daryl. And Kevin has 266. So he's down 22 pins with. The last frame, nobody's counting on any marks. Down 22. Who, who's going to go first? This is the game of chicken we talked about, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. 22 pins. That's... So if Daryl puts two marks up, any two marks, he locks Kevin out. Kevin yeah. needs two marks. Yeah. And they're going at the same time. Oh, bomb. Both bomb for Daryl. And, and by Kevin, Kevin, Kevin leads the deuce. Kevin yeah. leads the deuce. Yeah, just finish though. Man, it flip flop, flip flop. They're the last four. Yeah, uh, man. Hey, eh? they they kind of got on a run and then just tightened up a little bit toward the end. But uh, it's good bowling for both players. Yeah. So two ninety six for Kevin gets him to seven ninety nine. Respectable. Two ninety one so for Daryl. Daryl gets, gets him to eight twenty six. Twenty seven. Twenty seven pins. Wow, that was close. We saw some emotion, high and low. Yeah. All right, we'll bring those guys in here. Get your phone, Kevin. So Daryl, uh, eight twenty. 
826. He had yeah. a little bit of a struggle there at the end. Totally, man. Like, thank God for strikes, guys. Like, thank God for strikes. And honestly, I feel terrible, Kevin. I know I'll come in a second. I feel terrible because I was standing there. I'm like, I need something like a head pin. Right? I didn't know if you guys heard it on the, on the microphone, but obviously nope. when he punched there in nine, like, you know, I needed a break and he unfortunately gave me the break, right? It's kind of like I gave him the break in eight, right? We yeah. were, yeah. It was, Good job, Daryl. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. You, <laughs> you too, fun. man. You put the you put the pressure on in those four strikes in a row there in the middle. I mean, it was I was watching and kind of keeping an eye, and we were sort of seeing it. I was like, oh yeah, we're both running. So yeah, it was I, fun. I was trying. I was trying to keep going, and then like a couple tangles well, there kind of disrupt. I uh, <laughs> yeah. paradise I, lanes tangles. I probably waited too long when I went in the eighth, and I miss, miss, miss. I mean, my three worst shots of the day probably in the eighth frame of the third game, like not good, right? Obviously, the ninth wasn't much better, but just like, oh, 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 start, start feeling that. Yeah, that's what the ninth, ninth did begin. Yeah, I know. Sorry, pal. I, yeah. uh, I, I sort of said to Sue, like, I need something like a head pin, and then you head pin, and I was like, ah, oh, I feel like shit when I, that happened. So, yeah, yeah I was another waiting after another tangle, but that's that's how it goes. Yeah, we were kind yeah. of saying there, um, in the last five frames, the, the score literally flip flopped. It was Daryl was almost had it launched or locked, locked. and then of course. <laughs> Kevin, you pitched there, but you spared it, and yeah. then Daryl punches right after, and it just the score just completely flips again. You throw the yeah. strike on this on the spare, right? Like, well, that's that's so important. The spare, especially missing, you know, that's that's huge. Yeah, yeah. So, I but, didn't spare very good today. You guys can clearly see that that my, my my spares weren't very good, but I was lucky enough to run strikes each game to catch me up or or give me out ninety counts, right? Those one thirty fives that that helped yeah. me. So, yeah. Nothing wrong with putting the frames in the right order. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Must yeah. have been fun for you guys, though, as, as we're going back and forth. Really strike, good. Strike, strike, the fist strike. pump. Here we go. Okay, boom, boom, yeah. boom, boom. The fist pump. Just, just play the, the last game. We'll yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> yeah, we'll that first game. yeah, we did get a couple of fist pumps in that game, too. A couple of, yeah, right. I don't, yeah, think, I, I don't yeah. think I said it. You betcha, though. But. No. Uh, it, it's kind of, we were kind of talking about it. Going to these big tournaments like the Automotive and stuff like that, you're always in the back of the concourse spectating, right? Where this match, just this little experience, it's literally we're right in the pit with you. We're right over your shoulder. We're watching awesome. every shot. We're seeing your mannerisms and stuff like that. You could see the emotions when when you missed or you missed a spare that you knew you shouldn't have done or when you threw the strike, the big strike that you knew you needed to keep the match going. We could see it in both of you guys, right? So that, that's the fun part about this type of match and with the cameras right down with you, right? I know I did it, and I, I saw Kev do it one time too. That was you know, good old Scotty Barber gave me the analogy, the boxing analogy: take the jabs, take the jabs, take the body blows, but don't take an uppercut, right? And I remember at one point in time that I took an uppercut. I think it was when I missed on my second shot for the spare, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And then I quickly caught myself up, like, "Don't take an uppercut, right? Get yourself back in it." So it was just a mental thing to think about. You can't, you can't that emotion, that body language, that that stuff, right? Like I was, I was like yeah, a bit conscious, like what is Kevin watching, and he can see me, you know, starting to have get in my own kitchen. Right? He's like, I'm just gonna yeah. stay in that kitchen and mix him something good. I'm sure, right? But, <laughs> yes. It was close, man. It was close. It was. <laughs> I started, it was started, started to swell up. Yeah. <laughs> Made it a little exciting. Yeah, that yeah, was fun. Well, awesome. Good luck. Well, thank you, guys. Yeah. Um. Congrats to you, Daryl. You get to move on to the next round. Do you know who your next opponent is? I don't have it directly in front. Yeah, of Yeah. Uh, it would be the number one qualifier, right? Matt Leonard. So right. we'll uh, we'll reach out to him or somehow get a hold of him and see if we can book the next appointment. I was going to ask that, Gary, do we want to advertise that I won or people know that we played tonight? But how do we want to yes. incognito or how do we, you know, meet for second matches and all those things until we yeah, air so, it? Yeah, um, so we'll definitely put it in, in the private group that we have going for this 8-gamer. But uh, sure. we may we may do uh, a quick sneak peek video. Maybe we'll uh, we'll show maybe you guys running five baggers or something like that and get people interested in. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea, right? Just yeah, yeah. Of, you know, people will video. find out. People are gonna Ooh. find out. So either way, they find out. They're, they're gonna I'm not telling. I lost. <laughs> no, no, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Especially not to me. Especially not to me. <laughs> Keep yeah. it on the download till this comes out live. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, guys, for bowling. Kevin, great well, playing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mr. Good Miller, thank you for commentating. No worries. Good luck, uh, Daryl, in the next round, and good luck to the other 22 competitors. Yeah. Perfect. 
All right. You guys have a great night, and thanks again. Yeah, Take thanks, care, guys. Good job. See you. Good evening, everybody. Here we are for another edition of the Five Pin Universe Eight Gamer Playoffs. We've uh, we've got a big match tonight between a couple of our own hometown boys, right? The, the Five Pin Exec. I don't, I don't know if it's considered a big match, but uh, it's, yeah. a, it's a big pin match. It's a in big in match. weight, maybe in weight. Yeah. <laughs> So tonight we've got myself, uh, Daryl Bradley, and Pim Wiseman. The uh, what do you what do you want to call yourself, Pim? One of the better twins, one of the younger twins. What are the, what do you want to call yourself? Well, I'm the oldest twin, so I mean, I don't know. Uh, well, okay. I'm here. I'm here tonight. I'm You're the oldest. The oldest and the does not mean superior. Yeah. In any I, I'm gracing your presence tonight. That's what I mean yes, tonight. Yes. <laughs> uh, the oldest and the wisest uh, twin, yeah. the Wiseman twin, playing tonight yeah. against. Uh, yeah. And so then we've got a matchup. We've got number ten qualifier Dexter Wiseman playing against number twenty three qualifier Terry Kreitz. So exciting match, Dexter. Now you're not at your hometown in Shore Park. You're obviously at uh, Bonnie Dew Lane tonight, qualifying into there. How do you how do you feel leading up into this match tonight? What, have you been out practicing a little bit? I mean, obviously you're working at Sherwood. Do you got any chance to play at uh, Bonnie Dune at all? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I threw some balls like two days ago, and then other than that, no. I mean, we're in a pandemic, and you figured that every time we'd be closed, that you know I had you know eight months to throw balls, and I didn't. So. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's funny how Karen and I always seem to end up matching against each other in everything. That we do, so it's no surprise that we're here today facing yeah. each other. So uh, looking forward to it. It could be a great match. It could be, be a complete shit show. You guys are in for a surprise. <laughs> and that makes it a lot more work on our end, doesn't it? You, you know what? Uh, pandemic might have been good for Dexter and his bowling. He got a little bit larger. Fat people. Yeah. Are better bowlers, right? So yeah, but he hasn't played at all, so that might have yeah, that. Yeah, there's that too, right? Yeah. Now, Kerry, you you also mentioned you haven't had a chance to play a whole lot here leading up into the match. Um, did you just get here before for half an hour and throw some balls, or what's your yeah? How do you pretty feel going into this. Uh, as good as I can feel. I think the last time I played was uh, that no tap doubles that we played here at True Bowl. Yeah. Played all played all right then. So hopefully, um, I don't even know how long ago was that. About a month ago. Month Hopefully ago. that transitions. 30, yeah. 33 yeah. days. 33 yeah. days. Yeah. Perfect. There now, uh, for the stats guys out there, do you, either of you know how many times you've played each other in a WCBT event or in a match play event or anything like that? Any any sort of thought of you? 50-50 out there? Any big matches that you guys have played on? Are you drawing from that experience? Where do, where do you go with uh, playing each other? Uh, how many times have we faced each other? We've definitely faced each other. Is it two or three times the Invitational? Random draw. Twice. Twice at the Invitational. And and we're one and one on that. Okay. Uh, TPC, yeah. I got, I got you. But then I think you, you might be a few like three and zero against me at the Autumn Open or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Like early on, probably four or five years ago, I was probably up on Dexter, but it's definitely flip flopped here last bit. So we're probably pretty even across the board on Dexter. I think so. Yeah. Good. Now, anything you want to share with us as far as what your strategy might be going forward, or is this something you're going to hold close to your chest and you'll just have to watch it and see it all play out? I'm going to throw the ball hard. That's, uh, that's my tidbit. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to throw the ball and hope for the best. Uh, now, Dexter, <laughs> yeah. typically a fast player. Is that we looking to get this done in a couple of minutes and then wait for carry, or are you going to take some oh. time? Or- just gonna go. I mean, it. I'm I'm sure my game will be done in five, and then I'm sure Carey will try to drag his out a little while. So I'll do a little jig or something while I'm waiting Hope, for him. Hopefully yeah. not by throwing three balls. Hopefully one ball, and I'll sit down for a couple minutes and go up yeah. again, throw another so, strike. So Dexter, yeah, I'll grab a beer in between. <laughs> so so Dexter, you're you're playing on an uh, on an odd lane. Daryl played on an even lane. So what was the what was yeah. your choice? Uh, I had the choice of playing on Daryl's lane, and the reset button apparently doesn't work there, according to Daryl. So I moved. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm happy with that choice, honestly. You're a pretty active uh, reset button guy too. I think you press it. You know, I used to be. I'm, I'm a little less now, but yeah. um, there's definitely going to be a need for it for sure. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I will make sure I do that. 
I did. You're right. When I played, I had to call at the back. They didn't have to run to the back to change it, but they just had to press a button on their computer at the front. Where it's not like you guys, you can press the computer and have it change. So, yeah. Anyway, it's yes. interesting tragedy. And then Carrie, same question. You're on one and two at Sure Bowl. Uh, <laughs> does that affect your mentality and game plan prep playing on one and two? It doesn't matter where you're at. No. no. I, I do. I do want to point out that you signed in those lanes. So I do want to point that out. <laughs> I want. I signed. Yeah. Well, it, I was. It was on a courtesy. I mean. So he came, he played two universal challenges. He played on 15, 16, and one and two. We're pretty busy with open play, so I gave him the option of one or the other, so he's not against the open play. And then I said, you know what, screw it. I'm going to put you on one and two because you got annihilated on 15, 16. That's true. It wasn't an annihilation, but it was bad. But you lost. Yeah. You didn't win. Yeah. Did you win? Did you win? Yeah. No? Same thing. <laughs> okay, gang, I think it's time to get this thing going so we don't let you uh, cool off. It's uh, it's game time. So, obviously, we play three games, total pinfall for three games. After each game, you can play your pace anything you want during the game. After each game, we'll stop, we'll check in, do a little interview, uh, see who's up, see who's down, and, uh, and and chat a little bit more before each game. So, the next ball you throw counts. I think that's yeah, how it goes. Yeah, that, that's, that, that's my saying. Yeah, good luck in your bowling, guys. You, you didn't start that, Tim. <laughs> yeah, been around. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Hey, good luck, guys. Go well, well. Oh. All right. Go like that. Let's see if we got the uh, operation of this tonight, Tim. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So we we passed over the controls a little bit to to DB on the back end side of things, but yeah, it's exciting. I mean. It, I'm sure these guys aren't super excited to play themselves in the match, but at the end of the day, you got to play everybody at least, you know, to, to get through. And again, not surprising. No, you know, they have to play somebody, right? So, um, kind of, kind of neat they're playing against each other. I mean, it's, it happens. Yeah. Um, it's also kind of nice that you, I don't know, it's kind of nice you play against somebody you know too to start off with too, right? If, once you get it after that first match, it's, it's nice to kind of get going, right? So. Yeah, but you probably have a little bit of a comfort level of, you know, knowing yeah. how they're going to play, what they're going to do. You don't really need to start, you know, you really just do your do your job, do do your game, right? You, I, you don't, don't think too much. I think it's kind of weird. I mean, Daryl, you can probably attest. Um, I, I have, obviously, I don't have the opportunity to play this, but playing, playing this, playing your three games, and while you're playing your game, you don't know what the other person's doing on the other end. You don't, but um, both Kevin and I, who've played already, we've um, we watched ourselves on the sidelines. So we had the computer, we kind of watched. Um, I would expect that these guys also have a computer and they're watching each other a little bit. Maybe not to the point of frame by frame, but they definitely have an idea of where a guy's at and where it's going, right? I, 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 I would be very surprised if they're going in blind. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, death start off with two punches to start. So you had a couple two pushes there. Um, yeah, that's what he said. He said to, that he was a little bit pushy in the, in the warm up side of things, and I think that's the tough thing about an event like this. I mean, um, no matter what it is, I'm sure there's some little bit of nerves, even for two of these guys that are so well experienced. I mean, this is we haven't played in this tournament for nine months now, right? And and here we are, finally get to play in the match. Um, sure, there's probably a, a couple of jitters sitting there. So you want to you want to get in a roll and maybe you push it a bit much. Really, yeah, really no com no competitiveness at all, right? Until and then it's like okay, it's game time, right? So it'll be interesting to to see as as they get going what their rhythm and their mojo becomes. Um, Dexter's obviously a quicker bowler, right? Carrie's not ridiculously slow, but at the same time, you know, he sometimes takes his time a bit, right? Almost almost now, Dexter's. Forcing the push, would you say, Tim, a bit? He, yeah, he, and he's almost a little bit more methodical. Uh, yeah. He's actually playing slower than Dex normally plays. Carrie's Ker actually playing faster than Dex. Yeah, or maybe Carrie's playing his normal pace. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Dex, but he's, he, usually he's not usually he's not that methodical getting up on the lane. So yeah, now after... what would you do after a couple of punches? Would you just get up and keep going, or would you go take a little walk around? I know myself, I'd be I'd be back sitting down, having a having a drink, and doing you know, <laughs> not yeah, rushing I, in. To be honest with you, with uh, with the pace of play that you have, it's you can get into a rabbit hole, going down the rabbit hole real fast, right? Yeah. So yeah. I, I think I think you would take a maybe a deep breath, maybe go back, have a drink, and maybe take a little bit of a breather, and then try to reset yourself, right? Because if you go punch. 
punch and then all of a sudden you have another open frame all of a sudden it's, it it goes spiral spirals down real fast right so yeah but like you said i mean you know what we talked about is that these guys are fast players so they can adapt yeah. really quick they can forget the last frame put it out of memory clearly what they're doing obviously right carrie's got a couple of misses and he's not he's not taking his time he's he's getting right after it i think that's his game plan well, right? carrie throws a strike right there yeah and dex with another push right yeah, yeah he's just got to find his find the line well, he'll get there yeah no but yeah it's I, I don't know like it's so tough you you mean we don't we don't throw a competitive ball for really since november or not even a, not even a competitive ball just a ball yeah right we, i know we played our our, our boxing day thing 33 yeah. days ago but i mean really that wasn't really much yeah putting yourself on a spot like this really makes it tough so let's um just remind everybody about how they these guys did in the actual qualifying side of things. Uh, so there's a double for Kerry, nice shot. Um, in the standings, Dexter was 10th overall and obviously went down to Bonnie Dune to play. Do you recall in that weekend there, Tim, what what made him decide to go to, to Bonnie Dune or, I mean, obviously to, to make, to throw another ship, but. Um, well, I, I honestly, I think something was happening here at the center. Um, I think that uh, maybe there we had a, a bunch of open play, and I think we maybe had globe bowling that that day, the last Could day. Be. And I think so. Bonnie Dune didn't have any globe bowling; had something available, and so he decided I'm just going to go down and throw my extra game, and uh, and yeah, he ended up making it. And I think I played there the day before. I think you uh, did. Right? You did. And I yeah, think there was globe bowling that day too. Yeah. Yeah, and just you got to go. Uh, you got to go get another shift in, and if you can, you might as well. So, obviously yeah. successful down there. Carrie looks like we need a score correction because he had a left corner there in the seventh. It uh, it stayed up. So, but big uh, big one there for Carrie, double corner. Now Carrie's um... no, it, it actually it actually went down. I think. Oh, did it? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. it was a late, it was a late late one. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. He misses, but and yeah. Carey in his qualifying um, was the morning shift out of uh, Sherwood Bowl uh, with a twenty one eighty eight and qualified. Uh, 23rd. So I think I do recall that he shot uh, 275 his last game, but had a big middle three. So 301, 308, 334. Faltered in the in the seventh game with a 213 to apply a bit of pressure because we knew what the, the cut line was basically going to be at that point. I remember there was a few of us who played in that shift. And, uh, and his 275, I think, put him into 21st or 20th spot, and there's only a few right. guys that passed him uh, the last few days. I remember that, yeah. Well, remember all of us trying more. to I don't know the fight. exact number, but yeah, that, we figured. That was a, yeah, that was a crazy couple of days there when uh, everybody's trying to sit there and you guys were on the bubble. And I remember the the texts oh. and yeah. There you go. So so after seven, uh, Kerry has an eighty-two pin lead after seven. Whoops. Like. So. And Kerry's sticking true to what he said. He was going to throw the ball hard, right? He's, <laughs> you can see him. He's looking to get this done. And on, on a rhythm here, doesn't need to take too much time. He's he's wanting to play. Yeah. There you go. There's, There's a good one from Dexter, yeah. yeah. Finally got the ball out. Kerry throws a, a strike in 10 there. So this is big for Kerry's. Maximum 297, right? And yeah. Dexter's maximum 252. So we're guaranteed looking at a 50 pin lead, but Dexter's obviously got a lot of work to here to come back and to get a rhythm. And that seems better there. He's got a couple, those seemed a bit more out there. Hey, little, little crossing to the left side of the head. Then I'm not sure if that's something he was trying to do, but definitely out there a little bit more. I'm certain, but yeah, his rhythm is a little bit better, right? He's getting the ball out a little bit more and, and it's not so much of a push, right? So. And the winner of this match will be against uh, Sylvain Bercier, right? So Sylvain was uh, Sly was a second overall qualifier with a 23.95, almost averaging 300, uh, with a 400 his seventh game. But look at this um, five-game block that Sly went on: 309, 311, 328, 335, 400. <laughs> That's a big five games, eh, bud? Unbelievable, too. And you know what? He was the one of the last-minute qualifiers, too, right? Remember, he messaged us. He's like, I got to get one more in, right? So he sent it in last minute. 
all the way from Orleans there in Ottawa. Yeah, yeah you're right. We, we have on the sheet uh, December 22nd of 2020 that he played. So yeah, yeah we're looking at, um, you know, eight and a half months ago of doing that. Okay, so Kerry finishes with a 282 and Dexter with a 192. So that gives us a 90 pin lead for Kerry. So we'll, we'll bring in uh, Dex here, guys. Let's go like this. Uh, Yo. Uh, oh, hang on. Sorry, bud. Let's <laughs> just go like this. Well, Dex. Oh, sorry. Let's, so let's add that back in until we can get Carrie into here. Right, uh, this. Yeah. Yeah. Got all the buttons there. Le we're learning. We're learning as we go here. We didn't really say That's a whole okay. lot for the whole game. We just kind of let you guys bowl and watch. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how you feel there, uh, Dex? That was a little bit of a tougher sort of uh, struggle to start a bit, but um, pushed and sort of found a little bit of rhythm in a couple. But sort of, how do you feel about that game? Tougher one. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to score very well when you punch five times. Like five punches and a, and a five cherry, not, not very good. Um, a first couple, not very great of a hand, but not terrible. There was a few that felt like they were, you know, pushing a little inside, but there's no real movement. So small adjustment, moved a little bit, a little bit more aggressive. Ball speed went up about two kilometers just to try to get a little bit more snap on the ball. Came out okay, but then punched again at 10. So, yeah. Uh, well, we'll try to work on something there. Eight, 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 nine looked great, and then ten seemed a little bricky, right? So, um, but it, it was. It, uh, I eight, can't hear eight, anything you're saying. <laughs> eight, nine looked good. Ten little look came back with a little bit of bricky, but uh, looks like you found something for the next. I, game. I honestly think I like overthrew the one and ten, just trying yeah. to be aggressive. So, yeah, just trying to find that balance in between. And uh, how about you, Kerry? I mean, uh, started off again, a couple of sort of shaky ones, found it. You just wanted to, you, you, you also played at a fast pace there, too, and just wanted to keep on going and throwing the ball hard, two to two to what you said. Yeah, I was trying to, uh, I guess, keep my pace because I was having a hard time adjusting my approach. I was fast, and I was slow, fast, slow, and it showed because I missed, I think, three or four times, and it was just too fast. Just got to pay attention, keep my feet slow, and make sure I throw the ball good because... When it's bad, it's bad. I'm not lucky enough to spare a couple of them. You, you, you threw the double, and then you uh, got a late uh, falling corner there on the turkey. Daryl even said on there, I think, that was a late, I think the corner stood. I was like, no, it was late falling. But uh, that kind of propelled you to to, uh, to kind of a, a cruise oh, are we control gonna go back the first and check game. that video replay? Yeah, we definitely no. have a questionable strike, because I turned my yeah. eyes around, and I didn't know. You know what? what? You know what? We'll, we'll, put, we'll put that on the five-pin universe after 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 this all finishes. Yeah, I didn't sure. see any lights or any shields come down, so it's clearly a down pin. It was good. You know what? It's, <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's, you know what? Just mark it down for carry it as another win for this game. Don't <laughs> yeah. worry about that. Well, we're sitting at a 90-pin lead, yeah. right? Not not something that you can't overcome. Obviously, we know Bonnie Dune. You can and anywhere. I mean, Dexter, you're one of the one of the best uh, out there for a reason. So you just got to get yourself back in it. Throw a couple strikes, apply some pressure, and and do it. And obviously, Carrie, obviously nice and comfy sitting with a 90-pin lead. But as you know better than anybody, you can't sit on a 90-pin lead going in still two games left, especially against a guy like Dexter. No, no, you cannot. No. Okay, guys. Well, get at her. Um, do your thing. Let's uh, let's chat again after the next game. Good right, luck. Buddy. Thanks, guys. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. There, Kerry saying that he wanted to keep his pace because he couldn't find you know a line, and we kind of both mentioned that a bit. Uh, Tim is you know he's playing pretty quick right um but that there's these guys are both very very technical yeah uh, even though they play fast games they really know the game you know it's crazy like i i think you and i would probably be the opposite maybe i'm not speaking not shouldn't be speaking for you but for me like i if i can't find a line i, I don't think i'd go quicker i'd probably be slower <laughs> yeah you know, I think I would probably play it up depending on what I was doing to begin with. If I was yeah. playing slow to begin with, then I would probably try to speed it up. And that is what I did in my first match against yeah. Kevin, is that I was playing really slow and getting in my head, and I just needed to find a rhythm. So I just I went for it, right? I got fair, a strike, I threw another fair. one. I got another one, right? Yeah. But, it, yeah, it all depends on, on what the, the mojo is at the time and, and how you're playing. But. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's interesting, though. So that... 
Uh, De Dex gets a spare to start, and Kerry gets a head pin. So, well, as we know, I mean, Dexter can throw a couple, and he's he's got five in a row in a hurry, right? So it's uh, we know how fast things can change, yeah. uh, and and finds his rhythm and finds his foot speeding under this. But Kerry's just as good, man. Kerry can throw a five bagger too. Let's uh, let's see some big scores and see if we can get something get something going here for both of them. Yeah, like like I said, it's totally weird not playing against somebody uh, beside you too, right? So. Um, rhythm and not seeing your other opponent play, I think that, that probably brings a huge different factor, right? So It is, but certainly neat concept for playing, yes. right? Um, you can see your partner that you're playing against. You just can't see them 10 feet away from you. You see them virtually. And that's what's so cool about this event is that we've done a virtual uh, eight-game qualifying yeah. event. There's a turkey for Dexter, right? So there you go. You know, spare triple, he's in the match. There's, so, so there's so here's the thing, like, and this is what this is what I think is cool about this event. You can't, you, technically, you don't have to watch your other opponent play, nope, right? You don't. So you're you're on a five or six bagger. The other one, you know, you, you can keep rolling your own way, and it doesn't affect you at all. But the other person could be struggling, and he, the other person could be on a six bagger. You don't know that, but it doesn't affect you by any means, right? You don't. There's no extra yeah. pressure, really, right? So I wouldn't say right now Dexter is watching. Uh, carry it all. Dexter's in his no. own rhythm. He's uh, he's got a feeling going here, uh, he and knows. I mean, you can see when he throws his finger out early on that he's doing it. So, Kerry maybe just taking his time, or maybe just went and washed his hands, or maybe did something. But again, maybe just recognizing I'm just gonna slow her down a notch yeah. and get the job done, but not gonna rush it. Dexter's in his 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 pace mode. Yeah. Yeah. Great start for Dex, right? We just yeah. talked about it. Five bagger, nothing, nothing. A bunch of strikes can't cure. No, no. Yeah. But uh, that's a good start for Dex, and then uh, Carry obviously slowed down a little bit. We'll give a little pump out shout out to uh, Bradson Promotional Group here for the shirts that uh, make for the guys. Love seeing tour shirts. Dexter Wiseman, obviously, with his uh, nice bright yellow shirt out there. Uh, Kerry Kreitz also with an innovators uh, shirt that's yeah. that's done there. So good on these good, good on these guys for representing themselves and uh, getting shirts that are unique and showing their own character and for those that uh, help contribute along the way for them. Absolutely, innovator was a uh, Gallagher Cup shirt, I believe. That's right. Yeah, yeah. JB. And then uh, Dexter's wearing a new shirt. I believe that's uh, Chris Bradford's company shirt. Nice. Yeah, yeah. He looks like. I like it. I like these shirts. I mean, obviously, Mark Johnstone over at Bradson is the one who facilitates a lot of the design and the concept of all these shirts. But um, you know, we've talked about many times at length that uh, bringing bringing somebody's personality into the game has has certainly done wonders in the last oh, last number of years. So, yeah, you, you yeah. honestly, when uh, when Johnny and you guys started it, uh, what it is now is absolutely it's crazy. You, yeah, we never had that kind of stuff before, right? And it's uh, it brought people's personalities. Yeah. You're absolutely correct on that. Let's also throw out here, obviously, Five Pin Universe um, and and uh, our, our tournament division, the WCBT, has merch um, and has lots of uh, merchandise available for, for sale at uh, the store.5pinuniverse.ca. So lots of hats. You can see both Dexter and Carrie wearing hats. Myself uh, wearing a hat, obviously, in the, in the background right now. But, um, you know, it goes a long way in supporting the tour and uh, some of the... the the things we try to do and to initiatives and, and productions and all those things. So if you can support by being you WCBT uh, and the merchandise available. So I want to check them out. Tim Dexter here's uh, gotten himself in a, in a quite the game and a rhythm here is throwing, yeah. throwing a big one. Yeah. You, you notice though, he's not, he was, he's so methodical when he started and then all of a sudden he started freewheeling. Right. So um, like we said, he was being pushy when he started doing that. Then all of a sudden we, he started started playing a lot better. So he shoots, yeah, well, he we shoots knew he, just, he would want to get on a strike or two, and then he's going to go for it, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it's a sort of a race for him in a way to, to, to get there. Um, so a big game for him, bounce back 334. That puts him at a 526 double, 526, um, yeah. which is, uh, you know, 263 average over two games. Some, sometimes you look at it that way. You don't look at the 190 in the first yeah. one. You look at the 330, and you look at your double, and... At not, the end not, of the day, it's a match play. How many points are down at the end? So nothing a three hundred can't fix, right? Yeah. So Kerry is a, a four thirty six double right now and seven, right? So he has one hundred and thirty five yeah. still out there. So 
He has a two two. Uh, he does two have. He still got one thirty five, right? I think we often talk about that. The five frames left. We play her. Um, what's your What's my score on yeah. uh, five pin U podcast? Uh, one thirty five. So, Kerry's looking to shoot one thirty five for a two eighty nine. I don't think there's nothing more important in uh, the last three frames. That it makes or breaks a lot of championships, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. And there's the link, everybody, to get your WCBT swag as well. WCBTtour.ca. Um, first event of the year for WCBT coming up at the uh, Thanksgiving weekend at the Autumn Open in uh, Calgary. Long-standing tradition that tournament has. So I know they've got the call, uh, the entry forms up and running. Um, get get your entries in. We'll be looking to have a number of shifts, of course, doubles or quad events, and then the then the final starting on the Sunday. So support the wcbt again a swag at www.wcbt or wcb tour.ca yeah this is this is a big ball here for carrie yeah first one in ten is always big especially on a double right i mean it's it's big get something on the side right that's all that really matters and then he's still up in the match yeah Oh, he over, he overthrew it, yeah. Yeah, a little through the left, right? It's okay, yeah. Nothing, nothing spare can do. Still okay. Looks like, I mean, it gets the, the, the cleanup spare, maybe strike at the end. Um, we've got ourselves a pretty even match after two games. It could be a, it could be a five pin match. Oh, big spare there, right? Yeah. Big spare. It gives you an opportunity to still get the 30 count, still get some bonus pins. 249, you're right. Two could be a, a five pin match. Yeah. All right, there we and go. And there he is, yeah, 249 for a second game with a 531. We're uh, we're in a match, which I'm sure, you know, these guys would have predicted it anyway. This is how it's going to look. Let's go like this, guys. We'll add in Dexter. We'll throw us out of there. No, we're going to go like that. Dexter, how you doing there? Obviously, uh, big game, three thirty-four in the end. Um, you know, missed in the first one. Did that make you change something again in two, and you ran a five bigger? Uh, I mean, yeah, I missed in the first one, but most of it is because I'm fat and I'm sitting here on the ground, kneeling on the ground, doing this interview, and then I get up and I got to try to stretch out. It just it takes me a while. I feel like Adam Weber, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a you problem, bud. That's, uh, it is. that's something you're going to have to overcome, I guess. But yeah. I mean, obviously, then throwing a five bagger, that's big. Um, it didn't yeah. look like you were doing a whole lot of looking at what Kerry might have been doing. Um, you just were in a zone and wanted to keep throwing one after the other and get, yeah. get, get them all as many so, as you could, right? I've always said, like, sometimes you just have to throw, like, one really bad one to figure out exactly what you're doing wrong. And, like, that, that first shot there is just... You know, I wasn't I wasn't bending over my shot as much as I should. It was more to the side and far more than it should be. And that's when it starts coming out a little bit bricky. And, you know, you're starting to put the ball down a little bit more. So I just started to focus on bending forward a little bit more. And, like, of course, I throw the five-bagger. And then seven, I, I, I didn't bend forward. I bent more to the side. And it's an instant punch. So that's my own mistake. But I... Uh, I think I think I got it a little bit more figured out now than I did the first game. Obviously, that's for sure. Yeah, and Kerry, just for you, I mean, a, a little bit of bad luck in there. I mean, you threw the ball well. Maybe a, another miss, but uh, and you know, you still threw the ball well. And nice to get those couple at the end too to, to bring you back in there. Yeah, it was kind of. Um, I had Julie out back there watching me and telling me what frames Dexter was in, so I knew he was ahead of me. So I figured he put a string together. Oh, okay. Um, it's kind of funny. Two lanes over, I got little girls two handing the ball about five feet out onto the lane so i gotta time my approach a little bit but um no i just that one split kind of worked me a little bit i thought that should be a little bit better maybe a chop off but other than that i got what i hit so yeah well it's a it's a close match obviously i'm sure you both could have predicted this at the end of the before you played that you're going to be within a handful of pins going into the third game. Um, are you watching each other play? Are you kind of maybe in the third game going to keep an eye on things, or we're just no? It doesn't matter what the other guy's doing. Are you going to wait till the end, or just it's... no? Um, maybe when I get closer to eight, nine, ten, I might take a gander or find out where Dexter's at. But um, that's the way Dexter throws, right? He'll throw five beggars out of nowhere, so I gotta stay on top of him. That's all. Yeah, and Dex, you're not really watching. I mean, you got Kelsey there watching, but not. Um, Again, telling you maybe where he's at, but not a whole lot of a lot of info yeah, coming in. I, I think I've peaked once or twice, but uh, I mean, mostly I'm just like 
throwing balls, and then when I'm done the game, I'll see what frame carries in for a thing. <laughs> right. So, so all, all I all I got was carry was on top of Dexter. That's what I got out of the whole thing. So, <laughs> still am. <laughs> yeah. Five points. Five. Okay, okay guys, you five. got five pins. Five. So, uh, carry, you're up <laughs> by five pins. My score sheet says. Um, let's go, guys. Game three for all the marbles. Best of luck to you. Good luck, guys. Good luck, buddy. Well, well. And there they go. They're uh, they're they're at it, right? The, you know, you know, you know. Dex takes a practice slide. Yeah, just to get yeah, get, right? your, get your body going, right? The, I do yeah. that every time I, before each game, just to get my legs kind of like into it a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's throw a little shout out here too to our uh, our author out there in Five Pin Bowling Word. Check out Tom Patterson's new book. Um, Tom Patterson's a lot of effort and, and work into a new book it's called Success Driven Logic. Inquire at successdrivenlogic at gmail dot com. Yeah, I saw. I, uh, Dad picked up his book. I haven't picked it up myself personally. Some really good editorials in there, and some really good uh, information for everybody. That's good. I know that uh, I saw a comment that he had sold out his first run, so got a new run on the go. Yeah, yeah, it's really so, good to watch. Interesting how they both said there, Tim, that neither one of them are really watching. They're only sort of keeping an eye on the on the, you know, what you can say with the frames but not really watching i find that i kind of watched a bit more in my third game and almost to the point that it uh, negatively affected me i guess in a way this tournament is made for not watching and just going about your business um so it'll be interesting to see as these guys go along this game if they actually end up taking a peek or slowing things down or, or where they're at daryl you know what I, i'd be the same way i i would have to know right you and i are score watchers and I would have to know. Like it'd be, yeah. it'd, it'd be tough to watch unless, unless I was super high up or super low down, and I had nothing to lose, or I was, it, yeah. If I was close, I would have to follow it somehow, right? Yeah. Interesting though. Yeah, so, Kerry had a chance oh, they, to get a little ahead of there, and he punches, yeah, they, and Dash came back with a strike. So. Yeah, trade punches there, and that's you know. It's really about getting the first strike. If you can get then the next strike, okay, and then the next strike. But you have to take it one strike at a time. You can't be looking ahead of yourself. But, yeah. man, for the psyche, for your own psyche, your own confidence, right? Throwing a couple in a row, oh, it's huge. Throwing that third one, oh, it's even bigger. Is, isn't it just, uh, I, I always say, you know, you can, everybody can throw doubles. When you throw the third one, it's a lot easier. You get on a roll then, right? Yeah, it's amazing how many double punches or double double misses or double pitches, whatever we do, right? It's it's incredible. So the, here's Dexter now with, with the double, um, looking to run away a bit. Oh, he squeezed it. He got it looking out there. For a, looking for a pull there at Bonnie Dune. I haven't seen a lot of, I, I asked him afterwards if he's, you know, the Bonnie Dune... Uh, strike. Maybe it did in that second game when he ran a bunch. If he, you know, the, the smaller bases and the shorter pins together. But yeah, not not since they you don't get you don't get a lot of those kickbacks anymore since they done that. So yeah. Okay, so here's Kerry now with a punch in three four. Probably starting to feel a little bit tight. Probably thinking as well that Dexter's got to be ahead of him, um, but surprisingly not by much. So it's not not a runaway yet. No, no, not, nothing. Um, a few strikes can't happen, right? And there's a there's a, a nice thick one for for Dexter. Seems like it pushed the left in there. So thirty. So Dexter Dexter's up by twenty five after four. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not a lot. No, and and Kerry's still got to throw, you know, his fifth uh, in there, right? But Dexter's definitely applying the pressure here. Yeah. Bit of the speed and the thought of not letting it bother you right i mean that's the uh, the pro of dexter style is that he gets his speed and he gets his rhythm and he gets going that he could start to run away with things so, there's, there's one of the kickbacks we're talking kick about back 12 so it looks like you got 12 count yeah, yeah. carry unfortunately another one on the beak it's 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 such a mental game this game sometimes right so so uh, interesting what Kerry does after this next one, right? Does he does he make an adjustment or does he take a little bit of a break? Yeah, I certainly want him to, you know, come back, put some pressure on. Um, you know, with that with that spare in eight, that's sort of your opening. You're looking ahead to like, is I can catch him, right? Because it's a it's a couple of pins there. 
See, that, that's that, a big shot there. Right? It is so, a big shot, right? So Kerry just needs to, you know, get that double, triple that we all, the elusive triple. There you go. Looks like he threw his green ball there. I don't know if they've uh, noticed that. No, that's, that's, his, that's his first one. Yeah, I wonder if that's his, that's a pin ball change. Did he, did he yeah. throw those, that ball the first, the last three? I don't know. I don't, I don't think he did. Yeah, no, that's I, interesting. I well, uh, maybe I'll be something to come back to. But there's Dexter's opening there in nine. Got a Got to see. Carrie's taking a bit of time. Maybe the, the the bowler, like he said, down the way is a bit. Yeah, it, it, it's only on his time now, right? Because Dexter's way ahead, right? So, Carrie Carrie was down by forty after five. Needs needs everyone here. Yeah. Just getting a little too high. Do you hear? Desher did make a comment. You can hear that he's, he just can't leave pins like that, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, punch, punch! There, that's um, that's fairly big. You know, to that's, be honest, if you go punch, punch, nine, ten. Um, Carrie's got to just settle in, take some deep breaths here, um, throw the bomb that he can, and see if we've got a match. So there's there's max two fifty six. If he cleans it all up, obviously you could go for the spare here, and. Oh, you know what? That looked really, really good. Wow. Okay, so we're 256. So Kerry's got a, a race to 251 on the scoreboard here for this game. Which. There there's goes. a strike. Yeah. So 152 with a strike. One more yeah. this time. Well, how, it's it's funny how the game everything flip flops, right? Momentum is so yeah. huge. Well, and it, I mean, when you're throwing strikes and 45 counts, 45 counts up against you know a couple of punches, that's a that's a big big point, you know, gainer there. Yeah. There's Kerry just sort of took a glance over to his right and taking his time and getting set at the the time that he's ready to throw. Oh, another shot. one off to the right side. Nice shot, by Carey. Nice adjustment. Nice thought. No, this this is uh, this is the one, right? So if he throws the next one, it's over. Yeah, because he's going two fifty one, right? So he's basically two twenty seven right now. Guaranteed pins for two twenty seven. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. Because ninety would be two fifty two, right? So it'd be close. Yeah. Oh, wow. that's unfortunate. Punched on 10. Not going to be a day for him. Oh, that's too bad. Well done, Dex. He held on there. It was a hell of a match. It was super close until the end. Came down to the 10th frame, guys. Right? Yeah. Um, you know, had a chance. That's what the thing you want. Um, De Dexter just had to pick the easier house. That's all. <laughs> I didn't see that he got a lot of breaks on there. So we have a match of a 782 by Dexter Wiseman to 758, is that? I think 756. 756. 756, right. Yep, yeah. 782 to 756. Dexter Wiseman's our winner. Going to be moving on to face Sylvain Bercier. Let's add Dexter into the match. Dexter, you uh, congratulations! You you pulled her out, um, got the job done. Uh, we've got a guy missing here. I don't have Carrie in the the back room there, so I'll wait for he to get the his computer in. But yeah, Dex, that must have been a little bit nervous. Obviously, threw the ball well during the game. Uh, Twelve count and eight, spared it up, but then went beak beak. Yeah, um, honestly, no no real nerves at all throughout the whole thing. Just you know the the uh, the punch at nine and ten is just. You know, I'm going too fast for this entire set. And like, all of a sudden, my feet picked up, and then like that's that's when I started putting the ball down too. So, uh, the adjustment that I made in the first or second game worked. It's just then my feet started to pick up the last couple frames. So, um, obviously not the way you'd like to finish, but you, made, you, made, a, you made a comment in ten uh, or nine after you missed a bunch of pins. You're like, I can't be leaving those pins up on deck. Um, right, yeah, 100%. Do you, do, do you think that could have cost you? Uh, I thought I thought that the uh, 
when I went strike, head pin, two pin to start the match, I thought missing that three pin was going to cost me. You know, when you have five pins between the two of us and we're both pretty good at pins, except for corners, right, Kerry? He picks on me all the time about my corners. Um, you don't want to leave any of those pins up, right? And I, did, I don't know if either of us really missed the middle after the first I missed once or twice in the first game, and then I, I didn't miss after that. You know, you just can't afford to leave those pins because the opportunities wash up. You, you guys uh, do want to make note you guys never missed a corner pin spare all night. Yeah, you take know. that, Jim Head. <laughs> yeah, I think you only had one or two each. Like, it's no. not like you had a big number, right? No. Kerry, tough, yeah. tough one there. Um, obviously, in a position to have the chance. Um, that's the best thing you can ask for. Um, again, not really wanting to see Dexter drill that open in 9 10. Um, did you know where you're at before, like in, in seventh frame, when you threw the, the you know, a couple of big ones in eight nine? Um, when did you no, when uh, did you know? Frame ten. Okay, so before you threw the first one in ten is what you knew you, you needed one more. Yeah, I, I knew I needed uh, the double. I think. Right. Uh, you would have needed one sure. strike. The first the one first strike. strike in ten would have would have got the job done. But um, nice to. Yeah, you, you, yeah I had to get to two fifty one. Right. Yeah. So I needed I needed a double. So I got two twenty five. Yeah, I would have to. Is that oh, what it was? Yeah. yeah. Strike strike in big count. Yeah. yeah strike strike in big strike count. in big count. But I mean, unfortunately, on 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 the head pin, uh, it was a good match, guys. I mean, at the end of the day, we we love seeing these matches. Love to see them them close. Um, somebody's got to be a winner, and somebody's unfortunately got to be on the other side of that. So, uh, is what it is. Um, Neat format. Now, what are your thoughts? Obviously, we're being the organizers of the event. What's your thoughts on, on now we're into the playoffs of, uh, of the event and, 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 and how that, that goes for us? Carrie, your thoughts first. Um, as in what? Like how it's, how it's proceeding, yeah, you, how it's you, going? No, but you like it. It's neat. It's something that uh, I'm, I'm obviously glad that we're doing it. It's just a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a unique style event, right? You don't play against the guy 10 feet away from you, but you play against the guy in the computer, and, and that's okay. You still want a match. You're still playing against somebody. It's just a different yeah. way. Yeah, as an organizer, I love it. I think it's a, a heck of an idea to help keep bowlers invested and stuff like that. On a personal level, as a bowler, I don't like it at all. But that's that's the way I am. Hey. So, well, Kerry, yeah. you're the organizer. So, what what do you want to change next year? <laughs> in per, all in person events. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we run. We'll be running one of these each year. Yeah. It's a cool cool event. Yeah. It's a unique idea. Um, maybe some modifications. Modifications, of course, but. Um, yeah, it's now, it'll be now, summer only if we ever do it yeah. again. Now, uh, Kerry, yeah. we get to focus on uh, the production side of things, I guess. But so, uh, unfortunately, yep. no, exactly. Dexter, Dexter, for you, obviously, you go on and you play uh, Sylvain Bercier. Uh, big numbers coming out of um, Orleans. Uh, I think you've already got the match scheduled in, in, in the date. Any thoughts about playing Spy in your first in the next match? Uh, any possible what, sorry? Any thoughts against playing Sly in your next match? Oh, uh, I, I forgot who I was facing. Uh, I, I love Sly. Uh, he's he's amazing. Uh, yeah, and you're right. The pinfall out there has been incredible. So uh, I'm sure it'll be an awesome match. Um, honestly, as a bowler, I didn't I didn't personally didn't mind this at all because like I was still invested the entire time, um, which was good. I mean, it's better than just going out there and throwing balls. It felt like I was throwing four something and. You know, you could still kind of check in and see what the other person's doing every once in a while if you wanted to. So, um, obviously, it's quite a bit different than bowling live, but uh, bowling like this was, I didn't, I honestly didn't mind it that, that much at all. Um, looking forward to the next match. Right. Uh, what day was that? September 11th, right? I think. 12th, I think. 12th. Oh, yeah, 12th. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Don't show, don't show up on the 11th. Yeah. Right, okay. That was the other way around. That's right. But, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, looking forward to it. It'll be good to, and it'll be good to chat with Sly. Good. Well, um, we'll leave it be at that, guys. Obviously, you know, congrats on running and organizing a successful tournament. Um, you know, Kerry, unfortunate for you, but you're back behind the camera, and let's, uh, let's make this as good as possible as we can as a team. Uh, Dexter, good luck to you moving on, and uh, and here we are. Five pin you, eight gamer, a couple of matches in the book. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank okay, guys. guys. Have a good night. Take care.